Hi, everybody. Good evening to all of you. Today we are going to see the case not of uh, Jim Parson, a 16-year-old stu school student who has suffered an accident. Now we have three letters here uh, in the writing task. We are going to write to the de-addiction center. So we are going to write the third letter. We are not going to write to the hospital psychologist. We are not going to write to the physiotherapist. We are going to write uh, to the, the de-addiction center to provide services. Now let's go ahead and see what is there in the third letter. So I'm writing to Miss Susan, Green Value Deodiction Center, St. George, St. and George Street, Brisbane. Now you are writing for admission. So you are going to ask for admission for Mr. Jim Parson. So you are going to write. Admission for Mr. Jim Parson after one month. So not now, after one month. And to inquire about rehabilitative services. So you are writing to seek admission for Mr. Jim Parson and to inquire about rehabilitation services. Number one, admission. Number two, to ask what all facilities are there. So this is the reason why I'm writing to Ms. Susan, maybe the director of the Green Value De Addiction Center. So as this thing is clear, we are going to see the relevant data which is needed for our letter. Our letter, we need to identify ourselves. I am a nurse at uh, Queen Victoria Hospital and Jim Parson is my patient who underwent RF very recently following an accident. Jim Parson is a 16 years old child, 16 year old, uh, male student, school student, and he's, he's uh, admitted, he's currently admitted in a hospital. Now his next of kin is, uh, his next of kin is his aunt. She's working as an accountant. And uh, you can see his, his family is broken, his mother, he has schizophrenia and is on treatment at the rehabilitation center. His uh, father and mother got separated. You know, parents got divorced six years ago. So they are separated. His father and mother got separated six years ago. Um, now his mother is schizophrenic. He's uh, engaged, he's interested in adventure sports. He prefers fast food. And now he uh, he's mo has moved to the boarding school eight months ago in Brisbane itself. Now he is the most relevant history here with what we have to write is about uh, the starting of consuming alcohol so four years ago so now he's 16 so 16 minus four at the age of 12 he started drinking alcohol so this is what we can understand and right now he's addicted he's addicted to drugs and alcohol now what is his current condition he's feeling isolated and he's absent to school this 
is the details the brief history of the the brief history of jim parson is outlined here so some relevant information are there and one more relevant information is here that he has a suicide attempt history um and uh, now we have uh, the present medical history that he met with an accident on 14th of uh, January, uh, where he had a broken tibia, fibula, and um, this is a drunken drive case, and he has concussion abrasion over the face and trunk. Now he had um, surgical treatment or if then he had a um, conservative treatment he had medical treatment he had, he had services from the physiotherapist he had services from the dietitian right now his mental status is not so satisfactory as we can find him depressed is He's not physically well, as well as not mentally well. Now he is worried about the future. Also. He is worried about the future. He has extreme concerns about the future. Now uh, at the hospital, he has the bottle of vodka that shows the drug dependence, the strong dependence on the drug. And this is what the treatment is needed for. Now, you can resume the activities after a month. Now the discharge plan. Okay, this is something very important here, the discharge plan. Now you are uh, you're having multiple letters and you have multiple plans here. You are planning to transfer the patient to the de-addiction center after recovery from the current condition suggested one month rest at boarding. So he will be discharged to the boarding where he was staying. So he will stay there for a month where he be attaining his physical strength. He, he needs to get uh, his mobility back his shape and um, his strength back. So it needs one month. So he needs to stay in the boarding and continue his medications there because it is needed for his recovery. He needs wound dressing alternate days by a nurse. This has to be done at the boarding. So he needs counseling support by the hospital psychologist he needs the service of a physiotherapist to improve his uh, mobility. He needs the service of a social worker to uh, get him engaged to support groups and to participate in social activities. So you can say I can divide this thing. This is to the de-addiction center. This is boarding as well as the rehabilitation center. Some medications has to be, they, they, some medications will be stopped at the boarding. Some will be continuing, so that will be informed later. Wound dressing, that will be done in the boarding. Counseling and support, hospital psychologist, the hospital psychologist will be doing the, the physiotherapy. <coughs> I think that will be done by uh, in the hospital as well as the boarding. Now the social worker, so at the hospital and at the boarding, they be encouraging him to do supporting group support. Uh, they be encouraging him to participate in social activities and a part of supporting groups. So this the main thing you need to understand here as you are writing to the de-addiction center. So that is the first discharge plan you need to focus on. <coughs> that is, the patient is getting transferred to the de-addiction center only after recovery from the current condition. So only after recovering from the current condition, he is moving to the de-addiction center. This is something which is uh, to be focused.
Now, let us go ahead with the letter. 18 January, that is today's date here. You are writing to Mrs. Susan, Jim Parson, age just 16. As soon as you can see, there is written Mr. Jim Parson here. Oh, one of my candidates asked me well, why we are not writing Mr. Jim Parson here. Now, um, as far as uh, he is not, uh, he has not attained the legal age, that is 18 years, we won't be writing that. So we'll be writing just Jim Parson. So we will not be going ahead with the salutation there as far as he's under the legal age. So that's the reason why we are not writing Mr. Jim Parson. So the purpose of this letter, yes. The purpose of this letter is to seek admission. Yes, for admission. For Jim Parson, yes, the patient name. At your facility at the de-addiction center. After a month, yes. Okay. And to inquire about the rehabilitation center uh, services, yes, it's there. You provide. So you are providing certain rehabilitation services. I just want to inquire about it. At the same time, I need to seek admission for Ms. Pass, Mr. Uh, sorry, um, for Jim Parson. Now, why I need to have uh, this services from, so that it should be there in the purpose itself. So he's suffering from complications of drug addiction. Now, what, what, why you are writing to the de-addiction center? Right now, the patient is uh, recovering from an accident. He met with an accident and he had a serious surgery. And why is it not written there in the purpose? It's, it, it is not <clears throat> what I need. The reader needs to understand why he is admitted in the de-addiction center. He might have undergone, uh, he might have undergone the surgery that is the ORIF or open reduction internal fixation that's at the hospital. And he is taking rest for one month and then he is moving to the de addiction center after the recovery. So you need to understand the situation. That's why I'm not focusing on this surgery, an accident. I'm, I'm focusing on the real problem. This person that is Jim has, Jim has drug abuse that is substance abuse. So this is the thing, this is the reason why I am referring to the de-addiction center. It's not because of the complications of ORIF. So de-addiction center has nothing to do with the present condition, present medical condition that is the physiological problem, that is uh, the, uh, the complications of accident. Yeah, he, may, he, may, he have abrasions to his face and trunk, he has a um, fracture of tibia fibula. So we are not going to deal all these things here. So the purpose is very clear. I don't have to mention the accident or the name of the surgery, nothing. I just want to say something relevant to the de-addiction center that is drug addiction that is said in the personal history in the first part. Now I need to understand who is this person. So as far as we understood why he is transferred to my facility, when he is transferred to my facility, what is the, what is the patient name and what specific requirements you have, everything is written in the purpose. Now I need to explain what all the things we need. Who is Jim? He's a Canadian school student who moved to the boarding eight months ago. So he moved to the boarding eight months ago. He was there with his mother till then, I think so. But as far as we have no specific clear, clear data, we just say he moved to the boarding school eight months ago. Now he's a single child, he don't have any siblings. And his mother is a schizophrenic who is recovering, who is receiving treatment at a rehabilitation center. 
Now, um, his mother is receiving treatment at a rehabilitation center. His mother is a schizophrenic. And this fellow is a single child. Background is clear. His parents are separated six years ago. As far as their parents are separated, his next closest relatives at present is his aunt. <clears throat> now you can understand his situation. He is not staying at his home. He's in boarding. His mother is mentally ill. His father is not there with him. He got divorced from his mother. His only closest relative at present is uh, his aunt, who is an accountant there. And what's his likes and dislikes? He likes fast food and uh, adventure sports. This is what uh, we can see here. Now, this paragraph is over there. So background information, the social information is there. Now, uh, I need to focus on the next paragraph about the drug addiction. So this is a very crucial paragraph. That's the main uh, body paragraph here, actually. He started consuming alcohol at the age of 12 and is now addicted to it along with other drugs. Now, he he, when he started, now he's 16, so four years ago, he started consuming alcohol. So he started uh, consuming alcohol at the age of 12. Right now he's addicted to it and he takes other drugs too. Because of this, I'm not uh, writing that, just objectively I say he's isolated and often skips school. Some candidates, they say that because of his addiction, he is skipping school. Now, I am not reasoning it. I just had uh, to present what exactly is, is there. Yes, he, is, he has absenteeism. So you report he has absenteeism. We are not going to rationalize things. Okay, okay, because he is a drug addict and that is a reason why he is not going to school. No, we are not going to do that. We just presented, yes, presented. Because it is not said in the case, not, not clearly said in the case, not what is the reason why he is missing his school, why he is isolated. No, he just need to say the present condition. His, this is his psychological stage and this is habit. This is alcohol consumption is his habit. Now it has become his addict. Uh, now, his, it is, uh, now he's an addict to thing, these things and he has some other habits. He's skipping school and he's feeling isolated. So it's something related, related to drugs. So we can read out, the, the reader can read out these things from this letter. On 14 January, he met with a bike accident after consuming alcohol, which resulted in serious injuries. Now, when he met with an accident, it, it was on 14 January. And what happened? He suffered serious injuries. And during hospitalization, he was provided with both medical and surgical treatment. So we are not going to deal with the orif, what, what happened, when the surgery, what time he got admitted, what were the complications, what type of medicines he had, what's a, what sorts of uh, dressings we have given him. We just don't care about it. We just say, we just brief it. He suffered serious. Where? where the injury, he had suffered injury to uh, his leg. He had a broken tibia and fibula. He got good abrasions on his face and trunk. So we are go not going to explain about the injuries. We are not going to uh, detail those things here because that's, not, that's nothing related to me, the addiction. So that is something happened. But one thing is relevant here, that he met with an accident after consuming alcohol. But that is relevant. 
what type of treatment you have given, what type of injury he suffered is not the matter. But the matter here I need to focus is that he consumed alcohol and he met with the accident. That's what we presented there. That's what we need to highlight. Then I have to go with his uh, mental status. He's depressed and express concern about his future. This is something relevant here. And he also asked the bottle of vodka, which we denied. So this shows his strong urge towards the drugs. So at the hospital, he's asking about a bottle of vodka. Now at present, he is advised to stay in boarding for a month until recovering from his current condition. Now, as we have the discharge plan, as per the discharge plan, at present, he's advised to stay in boarding. So I can say, um, as per the discharge plan, uh, instead of at present. So I, I think that is better. Upon discharge, he's advised to stay in boarding for a month until recovering from his current condition. So this is what we have said. This is a very crucial paragraph. So here, when we read this paragraph, I get a complete picture of um, Jim. Uh, anyway, his social background and economic background is some almost understood uh, in the very beginning, in the first paragraph. Now his uh, uh, habits related to the addiction is portrayed in the second paragraph. And <clears throat> what I need to do right now, I would be appreciated if you could take up his care. So he has a lot of things. He has dressings now, he has wound dressing now, he has to continue his medications. He need to see the dietitian, physiotherapist. He needs to go with the social worker. So a lot of things are there. This, this, this doesn't matter here. We are taking the patient after a month, after recovering from the present condition. So what is that, what bothers, what is not bothering you is that wound care is not bothering you. The present medications is not bothering you. You might have some medications in the rehabilitation or the de-addiction center too. That will be given later. Not, we are not giving the exact medicines. Okay, these, these are the things that we are going these are the medications uh, which are going right now. This will be continued after a month. It is not given there. So you are, you may uh, cancel, you may withhold some of the medicine, you may increase the dose of some medicines, decrease the dose of some medicines, because four weeks are there. Only after his recovery, he'll be moving to the de addiction center. So uh, if I write continue medications there, then it becomes insignificant. So you have to see, if you are moving, if you are writing to someone who is carrying him in the boarding school, then you can say continue medications and dressings and all these things. Right now, he is recovering from this condition. After a month, he is moving to the rehabilitation center. This is something which is to be seen. You have, it would be appreciated if you could take up his care and provide him the best rehabilitation services after his transfer to your facility. Please not. He has a history of be sure. and suicide. So he has a history of seizure and suicide. So I think he has a history of seizure somewhere here because you know that uh, some of the drugs can counteract with seizure, seizure medications. He, he, he has loracetam, kavamethyl, levipil and all. 
um, two episodes he had. So these medications may have um, interactions with the uh, de-addiction medication. Some of the aversion therapy medications are there. So it's relevant that this de-addiction people have to note that he has a suicidal tendency and uh, he has a history of seizure too. So that's also important there. Now, if you have any further queries, please do not hesitate to contact me. You are sincerely nurse, uh, Kuhn Victoria Hospital. And that is the end of this specific explanation. Thank you.